Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? It's coming back here again today with another video. Trade season is upon us. The NBA Finals are not over yet. There's one, maybe two games left, and teams are already making trades. We saw a huge blockbuster deal with the Thunder getting Jermichael Green for the 30th overall pick a couple of days ago, and now Christian Wood traded out of nowhere to the Dallas Mavericks for Boban Marjanovic, Sterling Brown, Trey Burke, Marquise Chris, and the 26th pick to the Houston Rockets. It's a crazy move, and a lot of people forget you can make trades at this point in the season, and it's always cool to see, because a lot of times we reach the offseason, and it's kind of, you know, it starts off a little bit slow with trades, especially after the draft, so teams are going for it early, it seems like, which is cool to see, and it's really exciting. Uh, this is a trade that really can change the outlook of the Western Conference. I do want to address the fact that I'm in a hotel, I'm up in New York City right now, looking for apartments because I'm moving up here in the fall, so if you have any recommendations, recommendations for stuff in New York City, please let me know in the comments because I've been here now my second time, so I know the audio lighting stuff might be off, but I had to talk about this trade because it's a really big one, like I said. Please leave a like and subscribe. Of course, if you do enjoy, it helps me out a ton. And let's go over this, starting from the perspective of the Houston Rockets because I don't have as much to say about them. For the Rockets, it does make sense. I was actually just thinking to myself earlier today that Christian Wood doesn't make a lot of sense on this Rockets roster at this point. He's a guy that is a really solid player, but the Rockets, to be honest, are kind of in tank mode. They're rebuilding, and with the kind of rumors that it's going to be Paolo Bancaro to them at the third overall pick, adding him to a front court that already has Christian Wood and Alperin Sengun, who both demand minutes, it kind of makes it difficult. And so now this clears up a log jam. It also gives you the ability to play Usman Garuba, who you took in the late or like kind of middle late first round last year to add him now to this rotation. He's another guy that deserves some run. Alongside guys like Jay Sean Tate, Kenya Martin Jr., who can play some three, some four, you've got a pretty crowded front court. And so getting rid of Christian Wood does make sense. I will say I don't love the value that they got on Christian Wood. I thought they'd get more, to be honest, when there were rumors in the past that he was going to get traded. And funnily enough, there was actually, I think he was saying to some media member that the two sides were working on a potential contract extension. Pretty recently, he was throwing up the first pitch at an Astros game like two weeks ago. So this all happened pretty fast um but it makes sense that he's gone like i said i don't love the return uh bobon sterling brown trey burke none of that marquis chris none of them played for the dallas mavericks when everyone was healthy every now and again when there were some injuries i guess they were all decent depth pieces but they didn't really need any of those guys and i don't see really any of these guys playing like i said a really crowded front court in houston so i think bobon marquis chris i could see both of them just going away, uh, whether they cut them, deal them to another team, something like that, because I'm sure another team would like to pick up those guys, but I don't see them staying on Houston, especially when they've got now the 26 overall pick as well. So they've got three, four draft picks in this upcoming draft. There's just kind of a roster crunch that needs to happen. Uh, Marquise Chris, I would expect is gone alongside Boban, maybe Sterling Brown or Trey Burke hang around, but I wouldn't be surprised if all four of these guys are gone. They're all expiring salaries, so it's not like they have to eat years of cap. They could just waive all of them and then clear up some roster spaces, eat the money anyways, because it's not like they're players in free agency. And then they add the 26 overall pick, which does give them another asset to maybe trade up. So it's not the worst package, but I thought, you know, with rumors that the Blazers might trade Jeremy Grant or trade for Jeremy Grant using like the seventh overall pick and stuff like that, that they maybe could have gotten a higher draft pick or a bigger asset. But, you know, at the same time, there are all the rumors and reports that Christian Wood isn't the best in the locker room. There are times where he gets lazy. He kind of gives up on plays, especially defensively, which could come to a head in Dallas. And if it turns out that that's a bigger problem than maybe we realize, it would make sense why his trade value was lower than maybe we would have expected. But he's a really solid player. And that kind of gets us to Dallas' side of things. I think this is huge for Dallas. For me, he gives them an option at the four, maybe some small ball five as well, that can give them some scoring punch, which they've desperately needed. They had Chris Ups Porzingis, but he was, 
you know, he was injured a lot of the time. And even then there were rumors that there wasn't a great locker room situation with him. Uh, he wasn't available all the time. And he's just, his offensive game really didn't fit Luka Doncic super well. I think Christian Wood makes a lot of sense. He'll go and he'll catch lobs. He can rebound down low. He can stretch the floor as well. I think he's a pretty good fit next to Luka. And you've got him for a lot cheaper than you had Chris Hubs for Zingas. Now, I did say I like him a bit more as a power forward. I still think they've got to go out and get a center. I think if you can add a defensive minded center that can maybe stretch the floor like a perfect in a perfect world for the Mavericks, it would be a guy like Miles Turner. If they could go out and get a guy like him to put next to Christian Wood and you run a lineup out there of like Luka, Jalen Brunson, Doran Finney-Smith, Christian Wood, and like a Miles Turner, that's a championship contender in my opinion. And this team, they already went to the Western Conference Finals, so now you add a borderline all-star guy in Christian Wood, and you gave up four guys who weren't really in your rotation, and a 26th overall pick who probably wouldn't have played for you anyways, because like I said, you're tr they're trying to compete for a championship at this moment. They're a team that just made their first push out of the first round since uh, back with Dirk, and now they also made a push past the best team in the league regular season-wise in the Phoenix Suns. They showed what they're capable of. They needed a bit more of a scoring output. They added a guy in Christian Wood. I still think they need to shore up the defense down low. I don't think Christian Wood can be your full-time center in the playoffs. We've seen a lot of centers get exposed defensively over the course of these playoffs, and I think Christian Wood not being a great defender defender could also have that happen to him but if they add a bigger guy next to him like I said a Miles Turner I think that would be phenomenal now Miles Turner might be hard to get maybe there's someone a little more budget out there that they could go for maybe like a Jakob Pertl or something like that but if they could just add somebody that can give them a bit of a defensive presence down low the Mavericks are really putting together a squad I like this trade a lot for them I think that it makes a lot of sense and like I said they really did not have to give up much to make it happen I'm shocked that this trade happened now. Um, I thought this kind of feels like maybe it would be like a draft night trade or something like that. But, you know, I guess both of these teams kind of just wanted to make it happen. So for the Rockets, I think it's a pretty solid trade. I think you do open up some room for those other young guys, which as a rebuild, rebuilding team, that's kind of what you have to do. Christian Wood really didn't fit your timeline. Um, you had to open up room for Shangun and the third overall pick, who's probably going to be, well, it's going to be one of Chet, Paolo, or Jabari Smith. It's probably going to be Paolo from the rumors. So adding him there at the four spot next to Shengun at the five, it clears up space for that. You also add another draft pick, so it makes sense. However, maybe you could have gotten a little bit more. That's really my only complaint from the Rocket side of things. And for the Mavs, I think this is a home run trade. You add another star caliber player next to Luka Doncic, add some scoring output, a guy that can grab boards, get physical down low um, and just kind of could diversify your offensive portfolio a little bit. Sometimes it feels like they settle for a lot of the same things. And now that they have a guy in Christian Wood, who's averaged around 20 and 10 these past couple seasons, who can create his own shot, who can create problems by himself. You don't need Luka to create for him because he can do it on his own. I think that helps this Mavericks team out a lot. I still do want to see them make a trade for like a real, real center to go alongside him. But for now, I think it's a really solid move. I think there are more moves coming for Dallas as a team that surprised a lot of people this season. I think this is a great move. I really like this for Dallas. It adds just another element to that Western Conference contenders picture. I'm excited. If you're a Mavs fan, you should probably be excited as well. But those are my thoughts on this trade. Let me know what you would grade the trade for each team in the comment section below. What are your initial takeaways? Do you agree with me that Christian Wood is going to be a great fit in Dallas? Do you think otherwise? Do you think he can play center? Does he have to play power forward? Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you all have to say. But for right now, I appreciate y'all watching me talk about basketball from a hotel room. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Real one safe.